I enjoy being a woman of my word and I said I would have this done when I meet her. So I will have it done when I meet her. My life is positively upshifting every single day. I internally feel big changes on the way. I am aligning with opportunities for my highest good. My life is rapidly and beautifully transforming. Unexpected and expected blessings flow to me now. I am attracting money like water. It flows to me. I am at the vibration of miracles. The universe loves to see me in love with life. So I step into my future with boldness. I have no fear for my future. Only excitement. Only excitement. Good morning friend, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Quinn, I'm 27, I'm an applied mathematician and a systems modeling and analysis PhD candidate. I make lifestyle vlogs about staying authentic while elevating and transforming throughout life. So I talk a lot about systems, productivity, healthy habits, and womanhood and life lessons. So if you're about living a balanced lifestyle, this is the place for you. In my last vlog, I filmed my thesis submission week. It was the week I had to turn in my full first draft to my advisor if I wanted to then submit it to my committee. So I hammered out getting it done the last week. And this week has been revision week where she read it, gave me a bunch of edits, and I like asked questions about you know what I found unclear from last time. And so I've just been like editing this week and doing some data analysis. So it's been much more chill than last week in like a life balance way and so because of that I was like let's let's actually vlog a week of or a couple of days of what feels like balance I hope today is February 15th the day after Valentine's Day I hope you had an amazing amazing love day and so for me I'm going to carry my energy and the new balance I feel like I'm finally back to now that I've gotten like big big tasks out the way and it's back into minor tasks you know so I'm stepping out today I have to go to the gym I have to finish some more edits and then later tonight there is a open mic night at open all that soul I went to their show last year and vlogged it so I was like I absolutely have to go again like 
why the fuck wouldn't I? I love I love open all this so I'm going to that and then tomorrow I have a on-campus research meeting I have some in-person seminars to attend and more PhD related work to do and then on Saturday is my weekly reset day where I like reset for the next week and I you know think about my content and la 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 so you know a few couple days of just all the areas in my life oh yes I'm also doing the 75 fine challenge which is my version of the 75 hard and I am now on day 14. Today is day 14. So today is the official two week mark of the 75 fine challenge that I'm doing and I'm feeling really good. I'm actually feeling really confident. I am actually going to go do legs right now. So let's get into that because I'm just, there's a lot to do as I just said. So let's actually do it. You know what I mean? Somebody has to. No? No? It's time to get the change. that now I have I have to use oil like just lotion is literally not enough I'll put on lotion now I get to the gym and I look at my knees after stretching and they're white I can't be in a public place full of people with mr. brown knees it's been real inconvenient very embarrassing but what am I to do but work out so now I'm like people think I need to put on lotion for the house just because it's one and I did I did I swear but it's not enough, so we we double batching. We double, we doubling now. It's lotion and it's oil. That's where I'm at now. I mean, it also makes me feel sexy to put oil in my body. Like, just doing that, the sensation feels nice, so. Per to that. Oh, my gosh. I should put my hair up. And I should check the temperature outside, because I have no idea what it is. No idea what it is. Let's see. Real feel is 38. Well, that's not, that's not wonderful, but it's fine. Um, mm -hmm. so close math says 30s means long sleeve coat and a scarf word. Long sleeve. I don't say pants, but it's kind of implied if I'm wearing a motherfucking coat. So cool. All right. I made this little sheet for myself so that I can stop having to figure out what the temperature means because every day I'd be like, okay, but what does that mean? And so I actually studied what that meant for me. I was like, oh, okay, I only need a jacket in 60 degree weather. Oh, well, I, don't, I need a jacket and, you know what I mean? And then once I figured that out, I just added one layer for each level. Like as it goes down, add something. So that's how I made that. This is still too hot. I love my morning tea routine now, but it's one of the things keeping me home, I'm trying to do a bunch of things to shorten my morning routine right now. I got a to-go smoothie cup so that I, I, I would drink my smoothie at home because I didn't want to take the mixer thing somewhere else. Like I would always lose it. So I bought a to-go cup to pour my smoothie in so I could drink it in the car and then have that like extra five minutes in the house. So I've been trying to like get myself out to the gym a lot faster. And like I love this part of my routine, but like the time it takes to get it hot so that it can be tea and then also wait for it to cool down. It's not proportionate. I've not figured it out. Like I would, I'm basically ready to go. Like I can make my smoothie and leave now, but I haven't had my tea. And I have three minutes if I want to like be at the gym by nine, like I want to. Maybe I should also buy to go tea cup. That sounds like the solution. Okay, let's go make the smoothie and go. <sighs> I'm 
trying to just eat full meals like four full meals um, throughout my day to help with my bloating and blood sugar we'll see how it works so far I'm feeling like I'm feeling I'm feeling like good but there are other things I haven't tried yet like I know reducing dairy could help not there yet and um, right now I'm just working on like the timing of it all because that does matter I think I think I don't know I'm finding out <laughs> Because I'm not snacking, I'm trying to make sure I get a good amount of protein in the meals I do eat, you know what I mean? So, I normally, like normally meaning before this week, I normally would just make the parfait and call it a day. But after the video I watched, um, sorry not about the video, but after the plan I've now made about getting enough protein, I have a new goal of 120 grams a day, which means like 40 or 30 grams of protein every meal which means my meals need to be a little bigger because I'm not eating as many meals feel me so right now I'm going to make a yogurt bowl which is going to be like 30 grams of protein I'm going to make me how many is I'm going to make three links to get nine grams of protein and then I'm going to make two eggs and that'll get me 12 so that's 12 plus 30 is 42 plus 9 is 51 grams of protein right now one o'clock 
um and then i'll be good until five six when i'm going to make my quesadillas and then i'm going to go out so i don't have to buy anything because i'll be full yeah so that's 50 and i already had 30 this morning with my smoothie so that's up to 80 and then when i make my quesadilla later that'll get me to like 110 so you know ideally i would also then have like a meal when i returned home so we'll see how that goes <laughs> but yeah i'm trying to follow this new new plan it's a lot of fucking food but we'll see how it goes let's cook something i'm gonna turn on like patreon or youtube today's work to do list so i'm gonna eat and hopefully be done eating by one and then from one to four i need to work on my chapter three updates so i have to redo some analysis because like some questions were raised about you know you know how it said in the data like oh we collected this many days worth of stuff so it's like okay and then when i like tried to calculate those days more specifically it did not match so i was like clearly i'm not understanding something right like i'm misunderstanding something i was <laughs> like it was me <laughs> so now i'm like okay well let me redo that so that it matches the actual like reality <laughs> and not what i had before so that's what i have to do redo that analysis it shouldn't take super long like i can there are three ways i can approach it and i have to just sit down and choose a way and then i can finish that and once that's done i can update my third chapter my advisor read my my draft from last week and she's like um i i fully i fully reread my first two chapters i was like i read those full on like yes these sound good um and i did not reread my third chapter and of course <laughs> when we met she was like did you reread this <laughs> She's like, it's clear you added in the results, but did you read anything before the results part of this chapter since you initially wrote it? Evidently not, I have not. So she was like, yeah, we haven't, we've moved past all of this. Like we did all that originally, but now none of this is true. So you need to update this with what we've currently been doing so that it matches the results. And I was like, word, that makes sense. That makes sense. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> So that's what I need to do. Like once I update the results a little better, it's like they're good, but they need they need to be accurate. Um, and then I'm going to update the beginning of that, like the model version, how it is. And then that chapter will be updated. And so chapters one through three will be done. And chapter four is what I'm currently doing. For all intents and purposes, chapter four is my last chapter of work, uh, like project wise. And then I do have another chapter that's my conclusion, final statements, but that's like, before I dissertate so like you won't hear me talk about chapter five like chapter five won't be done until like the, the rest is done so yeah once I get done with chapter four we're in the game but honestly now that once I get done with chapter three we're in the proposal game when I get done with chapter four we're in the Dr. Jones game you know so I hope that was clear <laughs> my point is that I need to do some fucking work because I want all these revisions done for chapter three and four by tomorrow that way next week all the revisions will be done and we can focus on the presentation and sharing the committee sharing with the committee and getting their feedback so you know one week at a time i definitely feel like i do this thing where i pressure myself to do everything in a day or everything in a week and i appreciate my advice for being like I, I i understand that you want to get this all done like right right now but you actually have 15 more days until you have to do that and like i know for some people that might be like bad like, oh that's more reason to procrastinate for me that's like that's more room to take your time because <laughs> when you do things in a rushed manner they don't turn out nearly as quality as when you have the time to marinate with your thoughts so instead of like trying to just get it all out right now she's like make sure you're doing this right take your time this week we'll do this cool this week we'll do this cool and like there's still progress being made just because it's not being made day by day it's being made week by week it's still good like I think that's valuable I'm really trying to break myself out of like every single day has to be the best day ever um kind of mindset with my PhD at least I know that about my life but like with my PhD I'm like I didn't get the best results it was a waste not true you can't force results it either is or it isn't <laughs> where is my tabulita I ate a fucking egg. Did I crack that like that? Like, that's crazy. And then, and then, and then, and 
that might have answered the next question on the other one too. Let me see that. And gotcha. your um, your summation is over in one and two. So like it's the same formula, but with the the t test version. So that means you need to yes, you compute the degrees of freedom yourself. Okay. Okay. Remember that slide too. Okay. This might be a tough question, but for the first one, we're trying to find like the degrees of freedom or v. How do I find s one and s two? I'm about to do some data analysis and I I actually really wanted to walk through it just because I feel like I was going through it, through it the other day and also I was watching my friend's story and long story short, so many of the things that we feel are innate are actually skills that we were taught and, and have practiced over time. Like my friend that's a teacher was teaching her students how to take good notes and was talking about the importance of being able to like synthesize information take out the primary points summarize it you know like how that's actually a skill and not just something you were born to do like you have to be taught that and it made me realize that like almost everything that we do is actually taught to us like really truly and so it, it makes for more grace for for like being able to give that to people and myself but also it makes for like it makes me want to actually be very explicit about the things i'm doing I'm doing this because of this like I feel like comprehension is missing in a lot of self-help and a lot of personal growth like context matters personal circumstances matter and like process matters so I was like I would like to actually talk about how I do some data analysis just kind of talk through what I mean by that so I got an answer I just don't know if it's right before I do that yeah at the end of it i got the comic book explanation so i'm gonna work on this until five and then i'm gonna go on my walk and then i'm gonna come back inside and get ready to go out and then depending on how much I get done before five, we'll determine if I work on it when I get back home. Because I am meeting with my research advisor tomorrow and therefore I enjoy being a woman of my word and I said I would have this done when I meet her. So I will have it done when I meet her tomorrow. Make it straight today. You don't need to know. Hey, 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 hey. Crazy, crazy. But I live in them. I don't know myself. Hey, there must be a good I'm ready for the switch to turn me on. Hey, little G. It's literally five o'clock and I'm just now updating my journal from yesterday and today. It's been a very cute month. I literally haven't had a moment to just stop and actually think about what I've been doing like this in two days. So, okay. All right, I've updated all my trackers. Word, word, word. Okay, so we can actually turn it. Vertical. Anyway. So habits doing pretty good you know what i mean and then like walking i'm definitely getting past 10k more than i'm not i've not hit a few days like four out of 14 so definitely much better than last month so steps doing good sleep is doing horrendously like really really badly it's like one day good sleep one day bad sleep one day good sleep one day bad sleep one day good sleep one day bad sleep yeah i don't know hashtag stressed i don't know and uh, yeah that's all the catching up in the journal great it's five so that means it's time for me to go on my walk i want to do my daily hour walk i'm at 7k steps daily goal is 10k minimum and then whatever else over and then we're gonna get ready to go out tonight i'm actually really excited to have a reason to get cute i really haven't like done that this week i'm one of my goals for this month of february is to uh, 
get back into my style i've gotten so many like good pieces and things i'm excited to wear especially in the like later spring summer of course but i'm like i can still try to put on real clothes while it's still cold like you know what i'm saying so this month i've been trying to get back into like caring about that so i'm i'm happy i have a reason to put on clothes like today i've just i've been wearing it since this morning so i'm excited to get ready tonight i don't know what i'm wearing i have several ideas in mind it's a valentine's day themed show so i could you know wear pink or red or something because i do have that now or i could do my you know my classic sexy all black <sighs> we'll see anyway i gotta walk if i want to do both <laughs> oh yeah and i did not finish what i was wanting to do with my phd work so i'm gonna have to finish it when i get back home i had to reformat the data for both subsets so there's like 88 and i've done maybe like 44 um like what the first subset and updated the excel sheet and now i still have to do the other 44 so that took two hours to do so i guess it'll take another two hours to do and then another hour of writing so at least three hours of work when i get home after the show which is why i've not had good sleep but like we get it done so let's go walking <laughs> i've literally been home for like 30 minutes i just did yoga and then laid on the floor for 20 minutes decompressing my back <laughs> um but now it's 7.09. Doors open at 7. Show starts at 8. So I'm going to get in the shower now. I don't know what the fuck to wear, y'all. The temperature is like 50-something. But when the sun is down, that might as well be like 30. You know what I'm saying? Like, as the person who edits my videos, I've become keenly aware of how much I say, you know, and like, just like my parents. And there seems to be little I can do about it, I guess. <laughs> Anywho, three ideas. First idea, oh my god, first idea is this dress, she's cute, she's bagless, I would wear her with my blazer, and I would wear her with these boots, I think that's a cute idea. What I loved about putting together outfit ideas is whatever I don't wear today, I can just wear a different day. So <laughs> it's not a wise because I will still wear it. <laughs> Second option, this dress feels very me. It's a black bondage type dress with a little boob emphasis, you know what I mean? That I could wear with the same boots or a different pair of black boots. I have so many pairs of black boots, um, but I've really been feeling the pointy shoes lately. But I feel like this might be a different vibe. I don't know. I also have some, like, <clears throat> where'd I put them? I also have, like, cute stockings that I could wear, you know, with these. So there's also that. And, like, this I could wear with my long trench coat. And, yeah, I really like this option. Oh, this is the thing I would also wear. Hold on. I want to feel, I want to feel like I didn't waste $80 on this hat and I have to wear it at least once during the winter season or I will be incredibly upset with myself. So I feel like I could wear this hat with my hair down, with this dress and some gold jewelry and maybe do a moment with like a lot of jewelry or something. But I need, I, I need, I need to wear this somewhere so I don't feel like a fucking idiot. You know what I mean? Okay, that's the second option. Third option is this baby girl. She gives bondage. She gives a Valentine's Day. Um, what shoes would I wear with her? I feel like all the shoes I like with this, I would have my feet out. We'll see about that one. But this is like the third option that I would wear with my trench coat maybe. Um, so, those are my primary ideas. It's 7.13. Let me clean my body because I smell like workout. And then choose one, I guess. just to see if it fit yet because I haven't tried it on before this moment 
and I was actually able to zip it up mostly like yeah she zipped up um and then I kind of figure out what pants went with it but I remember I have these leather pants now and then I think the hat does good I think maybe some hoop earrings maybe a necklace The day after Valentine's Day, whoever, who had a boo last week, or oh, uh, like yesterday, who had a boo yesterday? Oh, y'all, okay, okay, y'all don't want to admit it, y'all with the side chicks and the sides and all that, it's okay. <laughs>
He don't need all that extra shit. That's basically what you told me. That, that's what I saw. Y'all crazy, man. Shout out to the band, though. Shout out to the drummer, too. You know what I'm saying? He was killing that last song. Y'all bass player, y'all was locked in. Yeah, man. I like that shit. I'm a musician myself. Yeah. You know, me and Lawrence used to play at the same church for about four, five years, man. Yeah. I, I, I see you turned your life, your back on God, too. I see. Just out here playing that secular music, nigga. We, nigga, we both wild, and that's crazy. Nigga, we used to be locked in every Sunday, my boy. Now look at us doing the devil's music. <laughs> no, I still love them though, because I still play too. I still play. I left that church, but the money won't write. I said, God called me in another direction. <laughs> look, that, that's the biblically correct way to say it. God called me in another My assignment here is done. And I, <laughs> And she hurt my feelings. You know you hurt when you Google this shit, like how to stay strong. <laughs> yeah, that's real pain right there, man. It's dangerous out here in these streets. I miss being out there sometimes, though. I do miss being out there, you know what I'm saying? I used to fuck with the Cougars. I was fucking with the Cougars right before I got out of the game. That's a good time if y'all ain't never done it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Especially if you got a job and shit, because it fit my schedule, you know? <laughs> I miss my cool old devil. <laughs>
did not do anything. <laughs> did not do anything. <laughs> I didn't even make dinner, which is why I'm making it at 7:45 a.m. This is the thing I do. Like, if I don't eat yesterday's like dinner, I will make it for breakfast, and then I'll eat breakfast next. Like, when I eat again. <laughs> the rules are made up. Um. So anyway, my meeting is at 12. I didn't do anything last night, and I still have about two hours worth of work to do. I need to finish the data update that I was doing yesterday, the remaining 44, and then re updating that section so i have like a full chapter and there's a section that needs to be fully rewritten so that's about another like hour hour and a half and i have four hours to my meeting so i don't feel stressed at all i just woke up with a face headache like i could tell i i didn't have any food or drinks so i had a whole thing of water oh my cup's not near me but i had a whole like two cups of water made me some food i'm eating and then i'm gonna get into my work i don't believe in like starting work well, I feel bad. Like, I don't think I'm going to work well. Like, that's, I'm more likely to make mistakes if I'm, like, head pounding, can't focus. So, I'm going to eat, drink some water, get into it. Kennedy uploaded a Valentine's Day video yesterday, so I'm going to watch that while I do this. And then we'll get to work. I don't know how to do makeup, but I watch people do makeup videos anyway because that's how they like to get their talking across. And like, I personally wish I had that as an avenue. Like, when I just want to talk and I don't want to do like a whole video, I would like to be able to just go do my makeup and start talking. Cause like that's that's a video concept. Like Q and A while I do my makeup, story time while I do my makeup, like whatever while I do my makeup. It's genius, and I will tune in even though I don't wear makeup. <laughs> so I'm like, I wish I could do that. I thought about co-opting and maybe like doing my hair while I talk thing, but it really doesn't work the same. It's not a, a quick, as quick of a before and after as this, you know what I'm saying? Like a start with me, end with me kind of vibe, which is what people like in the video. Anyway, my point is I'm watching this, she's doing her makeup, I don't know where, and like I love that this is a thing, like I watch a lot of black girls that vlog have this kind of content aside from their vlogs, like period, let us in, talk to me. <sighs> I'm trying, I'm gonna do my best not to cuss in this video just because of the legend that Mariah is. I don't just her profile pictures and don't know nothing about her. And it's so weird to me. Keep all of this up to YouTube. <laughs> It is 9.59, so basically 10 a.m. Data analysis is done. Now I'm at the final, final part of updating this section, which I have about an hour to do. Um, or I have I have two hours to do it, but I have to, you know, get dressed, go to campus. So really an hour, which is just actually updating based on what we've done in the last couple months, which shouldn't be too bad, she says. That did take me two hours like I predicted it would so that feels good to know that you know actively tracking my time to see how long it takes me to do things can help me plan better there's my 10 o'clock alarm let me know that i should be working word up so okay um i'm gonna finish these revisions and then when i go to campus we'll update the model and we'll see what happens i'm excited like every time i actually do my work i just be like who's that girl who's that girl I, I just finished I just finished uh, editing chapter three like fully reading through every paragraph up until where I know it's accurate um, and then when I like you know I'm editing and then I got to the part where it's updated I was like oh so I, I updated it and like it flowed like to the next section like <gasps> yes and now we're on present day we have check 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 I love keeping my motherfucking word I said I would do this and I did it 
any hoosies any hoosies let me start to get dressed it's 11 of 6 look at that look at that 11 o'clock like i said I'm, 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 I recommend everybody start tracking themselves how long, how long it takes to do something because that's when the planning gets better because before I was not accounting for how long anything took <laughs> like just guessing <laughs> okay look at this watch this watch this watch this with me I have my notion here and right here on the left I have my PhD list of things to do for each chapter and I can click off that click off that so all of the changes for chapters one, two, and three have been done. This is where we are. Oh my God, so much crossed off. Uh, okay. So I can actually get dressed now. All right, kind of just pieced together an outfit with my mom. I asked her which corduroy pair of pants I wanted to wear because I haven't worn them yet and she said they're like maroonish ones and then I realized in this sunlight I think these boots go really well with the color of these pants so I'm like maybe I can do something with this and my mom was like yeah she I sent her a picture she don't think it's too matchy so we'll see we'll see um so let's give them a shower <laughs> oh my god Oh, well, so I know that decision y'all were talking about came down to where we published, I think. Cause Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh, y'all. Let's just let's just recap. I had my advisor meeting and I completed the updates to chapters one through three and I shared them with her and like my process and I read through the changes I made and she like sounds good. I should do another read through. And then I wrote an updated checklist of like the products just to like get a sense of where we are. And then I also said to her, I was like, I want to check in with you about like where I am timeline timeline wise. And then it was just perfect. So I was like, as far as the submission for this, what do we think? Are we ready to send it to some like more internal personal reviews before we submit? We're getting ready for that. And then as far as now that I've done these updates, can I count? being done actively working on chapters one through three and she was like yeah like you know for now we're done i'm like at least like making and analyzing now it's more in just revision and so i was like so i can focus in on chapter four um which is what we're doing and she was like yeah and then before i even got to the next part so i was like i'm gonna chat what focusing on this chapter means this is my final project so i'm updating the equations i'm updating the manuscript and i'm making the proposal presentation and then before I even got to like the follow she was like, yeah, and so once the model actually looks good, I'll feel much more confident about sending it out to the committee next week. And so I was like, oh, you took the words right out of my mouth. So um, once I like update the manuscript so I can have a little more confidence about I have some things to put into the proposal presentation. And then like once the model is good, then I'll feel confident about sending it out too. And I'm aiming to do that by Monday. And she was like, that sounds great. 
one day at a time, baby. I'm excited about this. Like, I'm really about to propose, like, next week. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. It's amazing. It's amazing more than anything, but it's crazy. Um, every day I feel more and more like a professional. More and more like I know who I am. Like, that bitch girl. You know what I'm saying? I'm that, I'm that girl. Anyway, I need to go because I literally just need to eat something and I need to move my car before they give me a ticket because it's definitely been more than an hour and they've suddenly started being even more of a dick about it. So, let's go give me some food. What am I eat? Because what I ate there, like, ate some this morning. Yeah, let's go get something to eat. I am on campus. I could buy something to eat. It is a payday and I allow myself a payday meal. But when I do that, I generally like to go to Waffle House. Do I want to drive all the way out there? I kind of do, actually. I think I might do that. That actually sounds like a kind of fun use of my time. Yeah, let's go to Waffle House. Woo! I'm just really so geek because she, the last thing she said to me was like, yeah, once the model looks a lot better, a little better, we'll be ready to send. And then I just did it and the model looks a lot better. And so I'm like, now it's just on me to put it all together. really loving this outfit I feel like me from a previous life wouldn't have worn a belt with this but I definitely think it ties in everything so I'm grateful for the change in style and understanding clean up the mess that I made before I left I would have filmed it but I was basically naked and putting in clothes would have been more inauthentic than it was worth you know like sometimes I just can't do it I can't I just can't like be bothered to put on clothes so that I can film I just won't film because I ain't got no clothes you know what I'm saying it's just like that sometimes sometimes I'm willing to risk it sometimes I'm not <laughs> anyway it's time to go on my walk and work out I ain't did that yet today how many steps do I have already? Sometimes just being, you know, a person that leaves my house gets me a good amount of steps. I'm at 3,400. So if I were to not move at all, if I were to just sit on my desk for the rest of this day, I would get nowhere near 10K steps. And that is why you have to be intentional about movement. So I'm gonna go walk for an hour, which would definitely get me over this goal. I say like my daily walks get me about seven to 8K steps when I do just an hour. So, I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna do arms after. I like doing the walking before arms on a variety just because like that's just a variety isn't as as attractive as leg day, like the thought of it. But like when after I'm done walking and I can like feel I can literally feel the differences in my body when I'm walking, like in my waist and in my legs and like I can feel different. I feel different when I'm walking and like in my posture and all that. So that motivates me like when thinking about my posture, thinking about my stamina motivates me to be like, oh let me go work with my arms work on my abs so like that's just how I've been doing it for arm day and it also makes it different from leg days so that there's like a different process but it's in its own way so yeah let's go work out y'all let me I feel like I showed y'all that I bought this in a different vlog but I have been using it look at these look at these these are weights and let me show you how it works literally there's this like knob right here and there's a string and you just twist the knob until it's tight enough for you last time I put it above my watch like I moved my watch up my arm <laughs> but this time I think I'm gonna just put it up higher above my watch so and you know the drill righty tighty lefty loosey okay so Ready for my walk see Put on my jacket, headphones, and we're good to go. So let's do that. 
my second phone is dead so i'll just have to see you outside yeah Good morning friends <laughs> good morning friends oh my god my voice <coughs> good morning um y'all i passed out <laughs> i literally came inside from my walk and i laid on my carpet for maybe like 10 minutes so i could let my phone charge before i go downstairs and, um and go to the big gym like i was gonna go do arms last night and um i fell asleep but it's right here on the flow, and I just woke up. Oh, no. oh my god. Ooh. I did not mean. Oop. <laughs> I did not mean to miss Arm Day last night. No, I did not mean to miss Arm Day last night. I was like fully ready. I was just like, I'm gonna just chill real quick. And then next thing you know, it's this morning. I wonder how many hours of sleep that means I got. Pull up auto sleep. I got nine hours and 39 minutes worth of sleep. <laughs> you know what I think is funny? I think it's funny because you see the red those other days of the week where I've gotten no sleep. And then last night I got nine hours. I think my body was just like, <laughs> all right, you made it through the week. You, you, you're going to graduate. And then it said sleep. <laughs> so... I'm honestly hockey not even mad about it. I'm like, I believe in like hashtag listen to your body. And she did a rest and she got her rest. So it is what it is. <laughs> but now it's Saturday. So let's look at today's schedule. I'm supposed to I'm supposed to leg day. Um I guess I could do like a leg and arm. Like I love legs more than arms, obviously, like doing the workout. But since I didn't do arms yesterday, I could, you know, start with some arms and do some legs or I think I've been doing, I'm loving like using things like switch offs. So like I might do some work and then I'll like post something on Instagram, like make a post and then I'll do some more work. Excuse me. So like I've been using my social media tasks as like my in-betweens. And similarly at the gym, like if there's an exercise I just really don't want to do, I'll like smash it in between two I really like. So I might do like a, you know, some hip thrusts and then some, you know, some races. And then I might do like some barbell, you know, good mornings. And then I might do some like ladder. You know what I'm saying like smashing them one off, one off. Like that might be what I did today. And then I have to go on my daily walk, as we know. Like, I'm really proud of myself. Even if I miss the gym, I always get in my walk. And this is also why I do my walks first on arm day because walking burns more calories than strength training but strength training builds muscle which helps you burn more calories so you definitely need both but like in a day when it comes to our weekly total of like calories spent and then calories intake like if i walk every day and i miss some arm like some, some strength training workouts i will still burn a lot of calories because that mm -hmm. hour walk gets me three to five hundred calories burned so like i'm still going to be in my deficit as long as i get in my 10k steps so i appreciate that and then the muscle building is like is what's changing my body i woke up feeling very lean today like i can feel my waist so that's exciting um but the scale doesn't has not moved <laughs> so um, non-scale victories you know what i mean i literally just prefer being able to make sure i get in all of my calories spent i always believe in like you can adjust whichever you want to do like it doesn't always have to be an all or nothing approach i understand i'm doing a challenge but i am still uh, all about balanced lifestyle so i'm really not an all or nothing girl so even though i didn't do arms yesterday i still feel really proud that i got in my walk like that's still daily movement like this is pushing me to make sure that i still move my body some kind of way during the week even if i don't get all of them there was a time i did a challenge where it was like four hours a day i'm supposed to like walk for an hour gym for an hour yoga for an hour pilates for an hour like i did that for like a couple weeks and it was horrible um so like but like i liked it because trying to do all that in the day made me realize like i actually do have time for movement in my day 
So this is like similar for me. Like I didn't do both, but I have time for both as long as I prioritize them and as long as I get something off the list, then I have contributed to my health. So okay, a little more than rant over. Um, I am going to put on my gym clothes and go get ready once I, you know, finish my morning routine. My quick three steps, supplements, tea, affirmations. Good to go. Oh, let me show my body. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. My girl's birthday was yesterday, or two days ago. Shout out to you, Megan, the hottie. I don't know, I'm feeling really sexy. I'm like, definitely feeling the grown and sexy era. And yesterday when I was walking around in my like pants and my heels, every time I'm wearing heels, I'm like, yeah, bad bitch professional, bad bitch levels. Cause everybody can't do that. I don't know, I'm definitely in a place where I'm like, recognizing that everybody can't do what I do. I am hashtag unique. Unique? Like, I, <laughs> who, who, who all can do the kind of math I can do? Who all can create the kind of products I can do? Who all can wear what I do? And then look how it do on me with my tats and my style. Like, who can do what I do? Not a single person, because I have my own spice, just like you got your own spice. Let's put on clothes. And what should today's music be? Before the morning, I really just wake up and choose a playlist. I want to get hot to go to the gym, right? Yeah. Hey, floor. That's what I work out for this. Uh -huh. Yeah. Don't you ever, ever. So they push me inside of a tumble. Wait. You've never been to heaven.
Oh my gosh, y'all. I just got back from getting me some food. I really wanted to make salmon rice and seaweed for lunch. But I ain't had no salmon thaw. I have plenty of, I have plenty of food in my fucking freezer, like meat that I just don't remember to thaw it at night lately because of my horrible sleeping <laughs> and so then I end up like today where I'm like I really want this and I have the meat in my refrigerator but I don't feel like waiting three hours for it to thaw I'll just starve so I just walked to the store and got some salmon so that I can cook it boom no it's not even exciting because like anyone can do that exactly anyone can do that so that means you can do it also and you can't usually do this and you probably <laughs> in my night and uh, I'm gonna stop the vlog here and I just want to say that y'all uh, I definitely feel like I have a lot going on like it feels like I'm doing a lot with my YouTube channel and my like job hunt PhD and like the 75 fine challenge I'm uh, reigniting my social life apparently um, I, I can't continue to hermit like I have been in the winter like people are actively reaching out to me to collab or talk or meet or whatever it's that season and it, it feels like it's that season and it's really causing me to rise to the occasion to be organized to have uh, things done on time to meet my deadlines to stay focused because now I have like my advisor who I have to check in with I have brands to check in with I have my weekly productive club to check in with I have myself to check in with you know what I'm saying oh my god I'm talking to you and I'm skipping steps um like a lot of places to check in with and that requires a lot of being on top of shit and I, I'm just like I'm feeling the pressure to rise and to be the person I am so vehemently always claiming to be aiming towards <laughs> and I think I'm doing a fucking fantastic job like I really think I actually am showing up and that's that's what i feel so happy about right now like at the end of this week at the end of last week i didn't feel a big sense of accomplishment though i did feel proud of myself but this week i'm just like wow i did it again i'm still showing up for myself i'm still actually getting things done and i'm able to do it this time with a little more balance like i love when i am a I love it when I'm actually on top enough to indulge all parts of myself like I am a mathematician I am a socialite I am a fashion girl I am a gym girl I am you know a content creator I'm a student I'm a teacher and I'm a daughter and I'm a friend and I'm a lover and like I'm many things and the only way I have time to be all those things is when I show up for myself when I say I'm going to and I feel like this vlog has been a very good representation of me doing just that. We got to see all of those pieces of me and it feels so good and I'm honestly feeling so glowy and beautiful right now. Like, oh. Like honestly, I never feel more confident than when I've been showing up for myself and sticking to my word. And this week this month has felt like such a solidification of who i am as dr jones as a professional as a i don't know every day i'm alive is a, a day i've never experienced before and so i have new thoughts and new experiences new revelations and this week every single day i felt more and more in line with who i say i'm becoming like i feel like i'm her you know and i think that's incredible so 
I'm excited to keep showing up. I will be continually checking in with y'all. If you want to check in with me one-on-one, -on -one, you should definitely join the We're Productive People Club. We meet every Sunday, and you also get access to our weekly review and group chat. And if you want a tool to help you stay accountable without joining the club, you should download the Better Choices Planner, which is fully free, and the Quarter Two Planner will also be free in the free, I mean, in the description box. And if you just want more on-the-go, productive lifestyle, balanced lifestyle motivation, follow me on Instagram because I post all my stories every single day. So, I put a lot on my lips because I like to be moisturized. I like to shine. <laughs> That'll be all for this video. I cannot wait to keep bringing y'all along on this journey of growth and self-discovery. I am so, so in love with who I am today and I'm sure I'll be just as in love with who I am tomorrow. So I hope I see you there in my next video. Bye, friend. <laughs> oh, I don't want my breasts is to be exposed on the video. Okay. <laughs>